At Widener, I didn't have to fit a mold, I didn't have to be just an engineer or just a lacrosse player. I had the opportunity and to support to make my experience as unique as I wanted it to be. While at Widener, I not only extended my involvement in athletics, but academics as well. I served on the conference and collegiate SAC, working closely with the NCAA on Division III legislation. Under the guidance of my professors, my undergraduate research was accepted to the national conference, and the culmination of my senior year found me and my team presenting in New York City as one of two finalists in a national water treatment design competition. As it was a great end to my time as an undergrad, I found myself wanting to further my experience and education. I'm very excited as I continue here at Widener in pursuing my master's in structural engineering. Athletics have always played a key role in my successes. Football in particular has taught me many lessons that I'll carry with me throughout the rest of my life. I've learned the importance of preparation and dedication, how to handle adversity, how to be accountable and responsible for my actions, and the values of teamwork. Many of these lessons apply to areas of my life off the football field, particularly in the classroom. Being a chemical engineer is a formidable task in itself. Then adding the time commitment of a varsity football schedule on top of that makes it seemingly impossible to balance. My success as a student depends on time management and using the time that I have efficiently. This is a skill that I've learned to perfect during my time here at Widener. One of the best things about chemical engineering here is the availability of the professors and their willingness to be helpful. With small class sizes, the learning experience is more personal and truly sets you up for success. So although I've been involved in many things through my life, I've found that as time has gone on, I've devoted more and more time to academics. So in high school, I went and I took every single AP class I could, uh, whether I needed it for class credit or not. And I wanted those all to apply to my eventual major of electrical engineering. So when I got to Widener, I wanted that same freedom to take the classes I wanted to take, whether I needed the class credit or not. I wanted to take classes that interested me. And as time has gone on, uh, I was able to develop a great relationship with my professors that I feel comfortable asking questions in and outside of the classroom whether it covers the material in class or not. Uh, for me it's translated into a lot of, a lot of stuff both in the classroom and in internships and has really allowed me to obtain knowledge and experience outside the class syllabus. A major part of my decision to attend Widener can be attributed to the opportunity for a cooperative education. Participation in this program allows a student to get tangible interview experience, a jumpstart on their career as an engineer, and professional work experience, while enabling one to make a lucrative income to pay for college tuition and other expenses. Throughout my job search process, I attended eight interviews with six different companies, allowing me to become comfortable with my interview skills and human relations, while simultaneously allowing me to decide which work experience was best for me. I'm currently a full-time mechanical design and mass properties co-op, at Sikorsky Global Helicopters in Coastville, Pennsylvania, and absolutely love my profession. Thanks to Wyoming University, the Career Services Department, and my co-op advisor, I have learned the various skills it takes to become a successful student, a marketable job candidate, and dedicated employee in a world where experience is critical. I played tuba in high school, and I'm happy that I'm able to continue playing music here at Widener. I enjoy the ensembles where I get to play challenging pieces and meet talented musicians. I also developed an interest in mentoring children when I was a student leader in high school, and I'm grateful that Wider allows me to continue doing this while pursuing a degree in engineering. I volunteer my time tutoring the students of Sester Elementary School, a school on the edge of Widener's campus. I'll never forget the one time when a student pulled out my physics notebook and pretended to be a Widener student. I asked him to explain some of the notes written inside. The look on his face was priceless when he saw my notes, strange symbols and drawings of stick figures and rocket ships. I encouraged him to study hard, write neatly, and ask a lot of questions so that one day he too may be a Widener student.